Hey guys, it's Carl in Philippines. It's been probably about two weeks since I put a video up. Um, just want to touch base with you. As you guys remember, in a previous video, I had talked about um, sending my wife down a Bali Bayan box. It takes about three months to get down there. I had called them because I had dropped it off in February, so we're talking March, April. May should have been three months. They didn't send it out till March 10th, which was because they do it twice a month uh, for shipments, and it should be down there by somewhere in uh, next month, the 10th, sometime June. So roughly two weeks so I'm going to say hopefully by the 17th it'll be out and delivered to the wife's house um you know just want to touch base on that I uh, also want to touch base on uh you know still working on the visa I the wife sent out a petition letter basically petitioning that I could be there wasn't sure if I needed that so I'm kind of waiting on that I think um, next month I do have my paperwork filled out I will be sending in the paperwork with I believe it's forty dollars for the uh, the 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 visa and see where it goes from there and uh, I also had asked them about the SRRV program and still haven't gotten an answer back from them so I am just waiting on that and just a little update on some vlogs that I do watch I will never mention the vloggers name Unless there is a vlog that I really do appreciate and think it is very informative. Um, I was watching one about, I don't know, he was coming off like he was like God's gift to women and saying you shouldn't date a Filipina if she does not speak good English and if she's always on the phone. Well... I don't know about him, but I have not met a Filipina that is not on the phone. They are a, that phone is attached to their hip pretty much. Because that is the direct line to their family. And anybody knows, first thing with a Filipina is family. So, I don't get it. And if he was also stating they don't speak good English, they're not well educated, you know what? I think that's, that's baloney. Because if you have something in common with them, you are fine. If you don't have anything in common with them, then, yeah, I can understand there'd be an issue. But... Other than that, you know, as long as you have stuff in common and you enjoy being with each other, you are 100% fine. So, I do not like his vlog. I think this is like the third vlog that he's mentioned and talked about when I don't like. Um, but what am I going to do? You know, I don't give out people's advice. I don't care what they say. I'm just telling you from my opinion. My wife, her English is good. Very good. You know, um, and she's always on the phone. Her, the girls come 
first, if, God forbid, if, you know, my oldest daughter is living with her boyfriend and, she, you know, she's, we're talking, I'm here in the United States, she's in the Philippines right now, and she will, you know, stop talking to me for, whether it be five, ten minutes, just to talk to her daughter. You know, the, the oldest girl, which I don't care, because I want to know how she's doing. You know, these are these are the kids that I raised since they were little, and I worry about how they are, and I want to make sure they're okay. Um, so yeah, I just didn't care for his vlog, but you know what he's gonna do. On the home front, over here they have finally lifted the. Uh, the mask ban, the six feet of separation, if you are a, um, totally vaccinated. Which is great, because now when I go bowling, no longer wearing a stupid mask, and more freedom. Going into stores now without a mask, which is kind of uh, nice, and finally getting that feel of normalism back. Um, you know, I think, it, I think that's great. You know, as everybody that knows that it's here in the United States, this weekend was Memorial Day weekend, and I'm over in the New York area, and it was just a washout. It, uh, it downpoured pretty much since Friday to pretty much today and the ground was soaked soaking wet so basically it was just a day to do a little bit of errands I did my laundry which I would normally do on Saturday or Sunday I did um, you know went and got a little something to eat and just been uh, as the young kids would say, vegging most of the day. Just waiting for the eh, wife to wake up and talk to her. Also, uh, news over in the Philippines. Um, I made a double payment on the new place. So we are just getting closer and closer for her to move. And... Um, Hopefully, I can have it paid off in the, the the equity payments in three months instead of six, and she'll be able to move in, you know, within five months because I have um, too much security in the place she's at, and I kind of noticed in the Philippines, it's not like here where they will give you the money back, they make you use it on your rent. So if I see that, you know, next month I send two and I have two payments left, which is going to most likely be the whole entire case, I am going to tell her, let them know that she will be moving, but double check with the place if she can move in by then. If she can't, we'll go for another, you know, five months you know, when well, four months after she makes the next payment, and we'll just go from there. You know, once I get the payments there, where I don't got to pay the double payments, she will be able to save more and make a bigger payment towards the house. My whole purpose of the house is to try to make a um, to have it paid off within like less than three years it comes out to roughly like 30 yeah, oh, be like 33,000 US dollars so I'm hoping to have it paid off by then if not faster um, you know as you guys know I do do landscaping and I actually 
have cleaned up enough room in my storage locker that I get my big lawnmower in there. So what I will start doing now is on days that I'm not cutting grass, I will start scrapping. You know, if I can make an additional $100, $150 a week in scrap, that's, um, you know, that's good because, you know, if I, do a, if I can get $150 additional in scrap, you know, we're talking $600 a month, which will go right to the wife to just make payments on the house along with the normal payment that I will be paying for um, the mortgage payment, which I believe is like nine, say we'll say like $10,000. So if I could get, you know, an additional, say 600 US dollars a month, which is right now, which would be, shit, oh, excuse me. I screwed up, which would be 48 pesos times 600, which would be like an additional 28,000, you know, and we figure 28,000 additional on top of what I'm paying, say, we'll just do times four months, you know, you're talking 115,000 pesos, so... If I could do that, you know, and to make it easier, just to clear it off, basically, I said it was like 10,000 um, divided by the 48, which would be like $208 that I have to come up every month. So if I could do 208 times 12, which would be 2,500. But if I could do, say, 600 times 12, that would be an additional 72 plus that. So we're talking almost 10,000 additional a month. Uh, well, I should say not a month, but in a year to pay off the house. So I should be able to get this house paid off within three years. And we'll go from, we'll go from definitely from there, you know, uh, Excuse me so much. Just, you know, haven't done anything at all today, so I'm a little, uh, little tired, you know, from not really doing nothing. But, yeah, so, like I said, that's my plan to have the house paid off in three years. Um, I have to really, really sit down and focus on doing my um, teaching degree to teach online because if I could do that and teach online we're talking additional money you know I think they were like it was like $25 additional an hour if even like you know if I could do two hours a day times seven days, you know, we're talking, what, uh, another additional 350 So, you know, I'm trying what I can just to keep adding up more and more money. So, yeah, this is just like I tell you, just an update of what's going on. So, until I speak to you guys again, and hopefully with some good news, hopefully uh, the wife will be hearing soon about her Bali Bayan box. And then I can, because I have one sitting in my storage unit ready to go. I just got to get like a couple more because I want to pack up like three of them. And just have them ready to boom, 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 boom and go. Because I notice when I do the Bally buying boxes, it does take away a lot of space that was taken up from the boxes I would had them in. You know, the Bally buying box I have taken up, took up... You know, probably this much on the floor. I don't know if you guys can tell. Probably it's like what, you know, two and a half feet. 
But I got out of it, I probably got like seven feet more of room. Um, because the amount of stuff that is freaking holes in that box. So, if I can get three of them, I can get a lot of crap. I mean, I have a lot of stuff that's got to go down. So, until I speak to you guys again, I will definitely keep you updated on all this. So, until I see you guys again, remember, please hit the thumbs up, subscribe button, hit the bell for notifications, check out my... Instagram, I am going to start probably posting up pictures of the family and stuff on Instagram. Um, you know, uh, please hit me up with comments if you want want to know anything. If you, you know, if you're interested in sending anything when you see the girls, you know, to them, you know, that, that would, uh, you know, be nice. Especially, you know, the girls are not familiar with the United States, and if, you know, there's a lot of stuff they don't they don't grasp. And uh, I'm trying to get my wife, because I don't know why she doesn't want to. I'm gonna have to talk to my youngest daughter, get her to start videotaping stuff for me, and start posting that up. But until I see you guys again, remember, like. Hit the subscribe button, hit the bell for notifications, share me, share me, share me with all your friends. Comment. Don't be afraid. I will answer you back. It might be slow, but I will get back to you. And until I see you guys again, be safe and peace out.